think you should be backflip on a trampoline as you see right here I finally got a trampoline so yeah it's a 15 foot enclosure it's a sky skywalker yeah skywalker and so today I'm going to show you how to do a backflip on a trampoline and I'll show you how I landed it and I had the first and how like the method okay I guys so I use three couch cushions since that's the amount I need for my height so when I use couch cushions, there's ones on the bottom where you sit on it and the ones you lean against on the back. I usually have one one of the ones on the bottom because they're usually harder. So that I put that on the bottom to keep it sturdy. And then two floppy ones from the where you lean on to, to lean on that one. So that's what's on our couch. So, that's what so I watched a lot of different videos to try and do backflips. I tried the cartwheel method, but I'm not very good at the cartwheel, so I couldn't do that, and lots of videos tell you to do that, so this is a method I use, and what you'll need is three couch cushions, or if you're really taller, you're going to need it probably four. So, okay, so first, this is what the back poop will look like once you're done completing it, or what it should look like. So first, you're just going to want to have all the pillows stacked up, and you're going to want the harder one if you have that one on the bottom. So first, you're just going to land the fall back, just like that. So just keep falling back. And once you're comfortable with that, you're going to want to, you're just going to want to move it a little bit more forward on your trampoline. And then you're just going to want to fall back and go backwards. And then once you've gotten that complete, you're gonna keep, you're gonna wanna bring this pillow, the top pillow, and put it right there. And then you're just gonna wanna bring your knees up. And you're just gonna wanna, it's gonna be hard at first. So like, I had a hard time doing it at first because I was so scared to go backwards. So that's like what you go and lean back for. And one thing else you could, it could help you with. Once you've, also you can do this, like, you can also do that to help too. So then you're going to want to bring your pillows forward, just like this, and you're just going to want to bounce. So, also, what you're going to want to do that helps me, so I bounce, so I go one, two, three, and on the floor I do the backflip. So here it is. And also, you also can have a friend hold the pillows so that they don't move because they sometimes move. So here's what you're gonna want to do after that. So you're gonna want to so one, two, three, four. And like I just fell on my neck, but it helps you because it doesn't hurt when you fall on your neck. So once you master that. You're gonna want to have pillows here, and this doesn't help me. I don't. I can't do it with the pillows, but it helps. But you can have these pillows set up to make you more comfort comfortable doing the back flip. So you can have those there, which I'm not gonna do. But you can also have those there. And then the next step you're gonna want to do is move all the pillows. So you're gonna have no pillows. So no pillows. Just put them on the side, and it's gonna it's gonna be scary. And you might you might this happened to me. I I did the backflip and then I took a break and I came back and I was scared to do it again. So I had to learn it again. And then I and then I came back that time and I still couldn't do the backflip. I did it before, but I was still scared to do it. So I had to learn that method all over again. And then this is what I finally got the backflip. One. Usually you're gonna land that, I mean, you're gonna land on your knees at first. So if you land on your knees like that, it means you don't have enough height. I had this problem before, where I wasn't jumping. I'd get all this height, and then I'd just go into the back flip. So you're just gonna wanna keep, you're gonna wanna get the air to do the back flip. 
flips. And you don't want to get lots of height to do it. So this is how you do a backflip. So like and so subscribe. some tips to the backflip that you're going to want to know because it gives you more power is you're going to want to need to tuck. You need to tuck or you're going to be doing a layout backflip. And I still have not been able to do a layout backflip. It's just when you lay your legs out and you don't tuck. So if you're not if you're not sure what a tuck is, it's when you're in the air and you just tuck your knees to your chest. And then you and then like once you're up backwards when you're at your max height, you wanna usually let go of your legs so that you, you're not landing with your knees tucked into your chest. Because it's obviously not gonna look good, but you're not gonna be able to land it. Another tip is that you're gonna wanna spot your landing. So you're probably at first gonna keep your head sideways, that's what I did. And you just wanna keep it up straight. And I close my eyes sometimes and I don't land it. You're gonna wanna have to keep your eyes open so you can spot the landing so you can know where, you, where you're gonna land. And I suggest doing this with a net around because I did a backflip and I landed on my heels, which you'll probably do at least once, and it flings you backwards. And I hit the net and it saved me because if I hadn't had this net, I probably would have been in that tree and probably hurt. So thank you for watching the video, guys, and like and subscribe.